On today's video, I'm gonna show you five really cool projects built with Webflow, and it's gonna open your mind to what's possible with Webflow, give you the resources to implement some of those things, and just inspire you to use Webflow. Let's rock and roll. Hey, designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal, welcome back to Flux. I wanna show you some really cool stuff that I've recently seen built with Webflow. Let's dive into the first project. So the first project is this one. It's basically for some wood turning. I don't know if they're making pens or whatever, but basically this is an interactive experience um, where you have this 3D model, which actually you can rotate here and you can see this pen thing here. And you can click on those things on the side to customize this. Now, this was something that a lot of people were asking me for a lot of times, you know, I have an e-commerce platform. I wanna allow people to customize, see how the result's gonna look like, how the car is gonna look like, whatever. And I've never thought I, I could hack this together with a lot of interactions, but this is also 3D and it looks so seamless. I was actually, how do they actually do this? So I went around and searched for this project and it was actually, built by uh, this designer, designer, Anna Johnson. And somebody asked here, oh, this is so cool, how do you do this? And so she mentioned that there's this project called Verge 3D, which is this project. It's basically interactivity for 3D without code. So all of the interactions that you see here were actually built, implemented with native Webflow um, interactives and Verge 3D interactives. So there was no code necessary to create this awesome experience. And I think this can be useful in so many use cases. So make sure to check that out. We'll leave the details to all of these things below this video. The next thing, which is pretty cool and also actually a resource is this project. It's kind of an editorial, uh, landing page that's really, really nicely done in terms of the interaction, in terms of the layout, the typography here. I think this can be used for so many things. And this is actually a free clonable project. Notice how this scroll is very, very slow, smooth, all of the uh, interactions and, and parallaxes and all of these things that are appearing here. And this project is called Editorial Freebie. I think you can clone it, you can, open it up in Webflow to see exactly how they've structured each one of these interactions. If you wanna implement those really fine looking details in your own website. So definitely check this out. It's very, very educational. The next website that I wanna show you is this one. This is a website of a wedding photographer. And I love this because this is, this is the reason I love Webflow. It doesn't look like anything else. This is, completely not the template, right? This is, there's so many things here, right? That are interactive, like wild typefaces, wild colors, wild illustra uh, illustration. And yet a lot of the things here, like notice you have these sliders and when you hover them, they, you kind of focus on this photo and the slider stops. Then you have all of these pricing calculator here you know, depending on how many hours do you need or do you need an engagement shoot? Yes, no, digital online, and you get the price here. All of this interactivity, this is nothing out of the box. This is nothing. Everything here is custom designed and that's so cool. I love this and I love that you can do this with Webflow. Again, this is not my, perhaps not kind of like my design style in terms of look and feel, but it's very cool. It's so cool. It gets me excited. And then at the end, they're just like dropping you all of these circles, which are also interactive. So there's definitely some custom code going through this website, but I still love it. And I think it's so well done, opens your mind to the possibility of what's possible with Webflow. It doesn't have to look like anything else. You can express your creativity and do some really, really cool stuff here. The next project is this project by Sarkis. He completely built PlayStation within Webflow. Now we've already showed some of his crazy projects like he completely built the game Civilization. And the reason that I'm showing you this, a lot of people were like, well, what is this practical for? He literally built you know, all of the, the different interactions. All right, so I've 
I've clicked one too many times, but um, this is super, super useful because a lot of times you're gonna work with perhaps startups or tech companies. They have an idea for a project. They wanna mock it up. They want to give investors or you know target audience the experience of how this is going to look like, even if it's not the real thing, even if there's no real code or algorithm going in the background, you can create very, very elaborate you know, mock-ups of real products um, and give people the experience of how this is going to look like. Again, not based on a template, really based on a product design. And I'm really, really excited. Sarkis is always pushing the limits to show how you can prototype real products within Webflow. And I love this. The last website that I want to show you is this agency website, Reluma. Reluma, I'm not sure uh, how to pronounce this, but there's really nice things going around here. This is, notice like the interaction, everything like animating here. And then I have this gradient, which is not like a normal gradient. It's a circle of two colors following my mouth. I really, really like this. There's a lot of details. I'm actually a sucker for all of these weird gradients uh, and I love them. So here I definitely love the aesthetics, but also how they've used a lot of the interactions. They're basically an agency that I think specializes in Webflow. But I love how they're doing their storytelling, right? Here you have a website, you always see the Webflow logo because they're passionate about Webflow. How they work, so you have this kind of like timeline that's very nicely. They've really used interactions uh, and scroll interactions really nicely here. I really also love how, you know, this scroll interaction is not just used for a fancy interaction, it's actually helping you focus on the right content every time. So this is not just, hey, we know how to operate Webflow, but we actually know how to do this um, to create good experiences. Now here, in this case, I love this. They're trying to sell the clients on the experience of using Webflow and how easy it is going to be to maintain their website. So they've actually created kind of a GIF here or a video showing them how making updates on Webflow is gonna be so easy for them. I love this, but not only they've made this video, notice it's really well art directed here, placed on a nice you know photo and, and everything is laid out nicely with the GIF on top of a well taken photo. So there's, there's really nice, design going on around here. You know, the colors, the type, the art direction, everything here just looks great. So Dan and Adam, well done on this website. Testimonials, I mean, everything that a really great, that a really great agency website needs. So well done, looks fantastic. All right, I hope this got you excited about Webflow, about learning how to use it, about using it for client project or prototyping or anything else. If you wanna learn more about how to use this with clients or for yourself or become better at Webflow building, make sure you check out our program. We have the Webflow Masterclass with a link below. We'll be open up for enrollments soon. So you wanna make sure you know when we're gonna do this and we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.